because of social media, it has taken the desire to be famous or, or followers and get all these people. It has made it more gross and more and more people will do anything to get that fame or to get those followers. Um, even if it's break the law. These days, breaking the law is kind of just part of the thing. <laughs> it feels like just part of the risk that you take when it comes to, you know, gaining followers, whether, you know, you're being, you know, the worst person, whether you're being the worst person, you know, doing street interviews or weird stuff like that, asking weird questions um, and just bothering people with your shenanigans uh, or going to a different country and bringing your shenanigans over there as well, being an awful person as well. Um, you know, trying to sell stuff online, what's your courses or whatever, whatever it is, people will do anything they can to get some type of fame and they will go to great lengths to reach that fame and breaking the law is included. You thought that that was maybe the line, but because of the age that we have gone into, it seems like there is no real line. There is no real line there. And it's happened on all apps, from TikTok to, you know, Twitter to YouTube, whatever it is, you will see it everywhere. You know, there was recently that kid that crashed his McLaren because he was on, he was reading chat, you know, because he was streaming while driving. That's illegal, but okay. Um, and you saw the whole debacle with that, you know, I mean, he's not a good person anyways, but you know, that's besides the point. More and more people are like that or doing things that are very bad for the clicks of it, the likes of it, the video that it is going to make. We had a big one not too recently that uh, really takes the cake. Um, it, funny, it's food related. It really stepped it to a new level. A large business probably had to take some type of action. This brings me to the cookie crime of, um, you know, of the year. <laughs> It's the whole crumble cookie incident with the Australian people. Um, I, if you haven't heard of it, it's it's pretty much. I saw a good thing that really broke it down, so I'll I'll, I'll post the video. But this video is for these idiots and these idiots only. If you're not up to date with what is currently happening, the crumble cookie Australia pop up that just happened in Sydney on the weekend is allegedly a complete fraud and has nothing to do with crumble cookies from the US and some random fucks have just done it in Australia using their brand name, their image, their packaging and apparently their products as well. Apparently, allegedly, they flew over to America, bought his of the cookies and flew them back to Australia to sell them. First of all, if that's the case, how were they not stale by the time that you sold them? The the crux of it is pretty much these Australians, these two people, they're probably teenagers, probably pretty young. Um, I don't know about teenagers, but they were young. They love crumble cookies so much that they flew to, um, where'd they fly to? Alaska? Not Alaska. They flew to Hawaii. They flew to Hawaii they picked up crumble cookies, they flew back to Australia, um, and then sold the cookies. That's pretty much the, the crux of it. They said they signed something to bring goods into Australia, but they didn't, I don't believe they said they were going to sell or anything like that. So they pretty much just like brought the cookies to um, Australia and they want they intended on selling them there. They bought like 700 cookies and they intended on selling them. Um, even though, you know, you'll see later on that they had intended that they would not, um, that they weren't trying to be crumble cookie. They weren't trying to pretend to be them, even though there were several examples of them trying to be them from their own TikTok and how they were promoting it. But I digress. We'll get there. So they brought all of the cookies to Australia and pretty much created a pop-up shop, put a countdown of when they're going to... Um, you know, release it. It started to pick up traction. Obviously, people in Australia thought it was Crumble themselves bringing the cookie to Australia to sell there. No. Um, and the reason why is because of how they looked, how they were promoting. They looked like Crumble. They were doing the same things that Crumble does um, with promotion and all those things, um, countdowns, all of that stuff. So they ended up selling it. They sold all the things. Mind you, the cookies were old. 
because of the flight, because of everything in between. Um, you're supposed to eat the cookies fresh. So, you know, people originally thought there was a lot of reactions. Not my favorite either. You're allowed either. to like it. You're allowed to like it. I like, don't just say you don't like it because Grady doesn't like it. Yeah. I spent $150 on 10 cookies. <laughs> Let's just be the regular. Um, that looks good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Large look chunks of chocolate chip. Look at that opening that up. Oh, my God. Um, anyway, seventy-five dollars for five okay. cookies. That's you know it's not a bad cookie to be honest. It's just like I wouldn't pay seventy-five dollars. Never this shit, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> been... That is disgusting. <laughs> you know, people thought they weren't good. Um, people thought they weren't good. You know, a lot of people gave their opinions on it, and it was just like, oh, this is like old or dry or something, something along those lines of people, how they were reacting, and of course. Um, and then very quickly, the backlash started because the price of it was like extremely high, 24 maybe $17 per cookie or something like that. Some lady spent over $100 on like six cookies or something like that. Um, obviously we found out later because that was to recoup the losses of flying there, buying all the cookies and stuff like that. Um, it's so funny how they didn't try to, pre they pretended like this wasn't a business or they weren't trying to sell these or they were, or they were just doing this for the love of the game. They love the cookies and they just wanted to let people in Australia see it and, and, and have it. Okay. No, for sure. You weren't trying to make a profit at all. Um, and pretend to be crumble. Not at all. No, 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 no. So we've received an update on the Crumble Cookie Sydney scammers. They have released a statement which is pinned to their TikTok. First things first, why on earth are you posting a statement? If this was me, I'd be deleting everything. I noticed that they've also put in their bio, not endorsed by Crumble, just fans importing. They didn't have this from the beginning. They've only put that in their bio to try and cover the tracks since everyone's called them out. So the first part of the statement is, are you officially Crumble? No, we never claimed to be an official Crumble store. Uh, yes, you did. This is a look at their TikTok page, and this would clearly suggest that you are Crumble. Um, Crumble landing in Australia, you were putting the dates, one day Crumble pop-up store in Sydney. This is you clearly misleading consumers to believe that this was Crumble. You're also using their packaging and branding and nowhere in any of this did you state that we are just fans reselling because if you had done that from the start, you would have been called out as scammers from the get-go. The next part of the statement, which is linked in their bio as well, because it's like a Google doc, is are they genuine crumble cookies? Yes, we traveled to the US to purchase the cookies and imported them. Like, this is just so dumb. Why would you think this is a good idea? Why would you not just make your own cookie business in Australia? Why did you have to go to this length? They've then included trademark concerns. Crumble's trademarks are available here. I don't know if this person knows what a trademark is. And yes, Crumble, the proper company, holds the trademark of Crumble in Australia, which means that no one else can use that name or the branding. Like you're literally just exposing yourself. Do you know what a trademark is? They, for some reason, also um, shared a couple of positive reviews from people that came to the pop-up and said, thanks, I love the cookies. No idea how this is relevant. The next thing they've shared in their statement is their profit and costs, how much they paid on flight. No one gives a fuck about this. This is not how you run a business. If this was how people ran businesses in Australia, by flying overseas, buying someone else's shit, coming back and just selling it on a trestle table out the front of some random fuck shop, everyone would be doing it. But also no one would because no one is- With them trying to pretend that they weren't doing that, I don't know. I assume Crumble got, into, um, Crumble got involved. They had to have done something, maybe cease and desist. I don't know what happened. I didn't really. The main thing that I took away from this was that they wanted- the fame and the the popularity and all these things so much that they pretended to be a whole business they pretended to be crumble in australia just because like i i don't know what they were thinking and this is what gets me is like these people that do these incredibly stupid stupid things 
what is your thought process? What is your thought? How do you think you're going to one get out of this? And and two, how do you think the business that you are defrauding um, going to react to you? You know, pretending to be them. That to me, to, for me, this is very clear. Of people will do anything that they can to get some type of fame. Their 15 minutes of fame is more important than the risks that come with whatever they're doing. To go to the point of all the way to Hawaii to get these cookies, to to potentially get people sick because of how you transported them back to Australia, and just to give these people out with no warnings, no nothing thing about you know containment or whatever. I mean, I think you you may have you may have tweeted or or twi- TikTok something out about keeping them in the fridge or something like that or whatever, um, and you may even even provided uh some type of doc or paper in the things that you were giving them i don't think so from the videos i saw i don't i didn't see any papers that you gave people about warning them to keep it in the fridge i don't think so so the way you transported over was just bags in your bag for i don't know how long that flight is but pretty long and then like pretend like it's brand new fresh or whatever that's just nasty They didn't care about the people that they were affecting. They didn't care about what they were doing. They didn't care about any of that. They didn't care that they were pretending to be another company. They didn't care about hurting anybody. They didn't care. They were so stupid and so idiotic that they thought, all we're doing is selling cookies. Is that really bad? You know, kids used to do these, people used to do these as kids. Why is it so bad now? Like, to be so ignorant and to only think about profit, the money you're making off of selling these cookies, but then also the followers and the people, because everybody was interacting with their posts and were hyped about it. And all these things were like, oh my gosh, we can't wait. It was blowing up. News people were talking, the whole thing, it was blowing up. That's all they wanted. And they didn't think about anything else after. When the backlash started, they were like, oh, you know, they put in the header, not affiliated. They put in their bio, not affiliated with with crumble after the fact after having sold after having doing all that stuff after the backlash came you know they did not think about any of this and i believe they were interviewed or somebody reached out to them and they just said yeah we just love crumble and we wanted to bring it to people if that were true you would have brought it for a handful of friends your family whatever not 700 people to sell at you know three five x the original rate of what it was you know if it was all about the game if it was all about the crumble cookies you wouldn't your profit wouldn't have mattered you would have taken it out as a loss it was it is what it is you just wanted to get it to people that that was not the case you sold it at a high price because you wanted to make the money back you didn't care about the people you didn't care you didn't care about bringing crumble to australia you cared about the money that you were going to make the followers you were going to get and the fame that you're going to gain from this that's all that was clearly cared about in my eyes for me it feels like things like this is is the norm things like this is the norm and then when it comes to trying to find fame anywhere you can or do anything that you can to gain some type of fame, people will do it. We have seen everything. Like I talked about in the beginning of all the the stupid things people have done up until this point, going to different countries, um, the street interviews, all of these things that people are doing, it's all for one thing. It's all for the currency of followers. It's all for the currency of fame. And that's what people are trying to buy. People are want to get eyes. They want to get attention. And these people were no different, even though they didn't show themselves or anything like that in the TikToks, um, them doing this whole stunt to steal, defraud, pretend to be another company. That's what they were gaining. They were trying to make money, but then they were mainly trying to get the followers and the fame that brought this in and like, oh, like, oh, my gosh, this whole thing, like this hysteria, this mass hysteria that this brought to australia and the people that were coming in from super far away just to get these cookies it's it's insane that this will not be the first or the last time something like this happens i really do think like things like this will kind of be just one of those things that happen because people will do anything um for fame popularity and followers that's all people want and they will do anything they can to do it to gain it
kind of seems like this is what's going to happen in the future and these types of things um these types of things will happen more often there will be real consequences to things like this and it will be harder to do in the future but people will find a way <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's very interesting to see something like this happen and how it will be perceived in the future, how other people will kind of see this, what companies and businesses will do to combat these types of things, and where this kind of goes from here. Um, let me know what you kind of think, and also if there are any other instances that you've kind of found or seen around this around the world or whatever. I'd love to kind of read that and, and learn more about that and see if this is actually a thing that has happened more often than this instance right here. Like, subscribe, follow me here. There will be another video on Monday and I will see you then.